welcome to What's the Deal with Sam? Starring Sam Lilly. Join Sam as he discusses a wide variety of topics. Now let's start the show. Thank you. What's the deal with saying something is nothing to sneeze at? It's like saying it's nothing to scoff at with the ground. So this is just a phrase that I've heard. You know, people say that's that's nothing to sneeze at, right? Man, five hundred dollars, that's nothing to sneeze at. Usually it's something that's like it's just something that's pretty good or impressive in some way, at least somewhat. And the 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 saying this is like, oh yeah, something that you know you shouldn't you shouldn't look at as something that's like bad or not impressive or Look at it like it's less than it is to devalue something kind of in that way, right? And uh, how the fuck does that translate into it's nothing to sneeze at? I mean, who is like, man, like, you think this is a good deal? And then they sneeze. For one thing, sneezing is fucking involuntary. You don't decide, I am going to sneeze now. In fact, when you want to sneeze, you can't. You're not like, man, I really like, how often have you had it where you're like, man... My nose feels really weird. I just wish I could sneeze. Well, stop feeling so weird. And then you can't. You try looking at the sun. You try huffing some pepper. You try, or sorry, snorting. Whatever. Whatever you do with pepper. I don't police your personal life with pepper. But then there's like a good mandate. My personal life with pepper. And it's like, you know, you try to sneeze. It doesn't happen. It's just like, but then there are other times you're like, shit, I really don't want to sneeze right now. And you fight it as hard as you can. And only if you're extremely lucky can you actually, you know, stop sneezing. But usually it'll still happen anyway because you you have to. Your body needs to, and, and you don't you don't volunteer to do it. It is involuntary. Hence the thing I said, and that's if you could understand it with how fast I talk and slur my words together because I'm a fucking fuck stick, a whole stick of fuck. Like who needs a stick of butter when you got a whole stick of fuck, a whole tub of fuck? But like. How does it, what, what does that phrase mean then? Like, wh- how often do you get something and then you sneeze? Like, you're allergic to it? Like, it's so bad you're allergic to it? Is that the idea? Or is it, were there, was there a time when people were able to actually voluntarily, like, sneeze on command? Or, um, I don't know. Like, it just seems so bizarre. Like, even if someone did present something to you and you sneezed at it, you know, and like that, like would would that necessarily mean anything? When it's an involuntary gesture, and also how you I mean, like I don't know, like I guess it would be like if you you had something and they're like, man, isn't this good? And you waited, you specifically waited so that you could go and then okay, I have a sneeze now, and you go to this this thing, and then you and then you actually actually try to sneeze onto the thing, right? Like. Was that a way of getting people sick back in the day and you were sneezing at them on purpose to try and get them? I don't know what it mean. What the fuck would it mean? What could it mean? Like, I'm stretching with these things here. I'm I'm stretching more than, you know, fucking my exercise pants that don't exist because I don't have them or do that. So, like, I mean, how can you how can you come up with something like, well, what would the real meaning even be? Well, what is it supposed to be? What the fuck could it possibly mean? What's the deal with saying that that something is nothing to sneeze at. It's like saying something is uh, fucking uh, nothing to hiccup at. With the ground.